Hi students, good morning all of you. Hope you are all doing good. Welcome to lecture 41 in this course and at present we are discussing the unit definite integrals and our today's topic is graphical transformations. Hope you have watched the previous lectures in definite integration and from this lecture onwards I will be discussing the applications of definite integration namely finding area under the given curve. As a prerequisite to that, we will be discussing some elementary functions and their graphs and we will be discussing some transformations of the graphs. Elementary graph that I am going to discuss is straight line. We know that there are three types of straight lines namely horizontal straight line, vertical straight line and a non-horizontal comma non-vertical straight line. First let us discuss horizontal straight line. The general equation of a horizontal straight line is y minus k is equal to 0 where k belongs to r. Examples y is equal to 0 which is nothing but x axis y plus 2 is equal to 0 and y minus 2 is equal to 0. So let me represent these three straight lines graphically. So here is the coordinate axis. So this is my x axis which is nothing but y is equal to 0. Now let me draw the straight line y plus 2 is equal to 0. So this is a line which is parallel to the x axis which is at a distance of 2 units below the x axis. So this equation, this line equation is y plus 2 is equal to 0. Now y minus 2 is equal to 0 means it is a line parallel to the x axis which is at a distance of 2 units above the x axis so this line equation is y minus 2 is equal to 0 ok now the slope of a horizontal straight line is 0 now let us discuss vertical straight line the general equation of a vertical straight line is x minus k is equal to 0 where k belongs to r here are the examples x is equal to 0 which is nothing but y axis x plus 2 is equal to 0 and x minus 2 is equal to 0. So let me draw these three straight lines. So here is the coordinate axis. This is x axis and this is y axis. Now let me draw the straight line x plus 2 is equal to 0. x plus 2 is equal to 0 means it is a line parallel to the y axis which is at a distance of 2 units left to the y axis. So this equation is x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now x minus 2 is equal to 0 means it is a line parallel to the y axis which is at a distance of 2 units right to the y axis. So this equation is x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. Now the slope of a vertical straight line is infinity. Okay, now let us discuss a non-horizontal and a non-vertical straight line. The general equation of a straight line is Lx plus My plus N is equal to 0. Now I will discuss one important form of a straight line namely the intercept form of a straight line. So what is this intercept form of a straight line? The straight line of the form x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 where a comma b belongs to R is called intercept form of a straight line. Here a comma b are the x intercept and y intercept of a straight line respectively. So here I discussed intercept form because whenever a straight line equation is given and you are asked to draw the straight line representing that equation this form will help you in drawing that straight line. So first what you have to do is first convert the given equation of a straight line into the intercept form and find the intercepts and then connect those intercepts to draw the straight line represented by the given equation without committing any mistake. Okay. So whenever you convert a given straight line in the intercept form there are four possible cases. Here I am discussing the first possible case x intercept positive and y intercept positive. So here it is the positive x axis and this is the positive x axis. Positive x axis and here is the positive y axis. Both x 
coordinate as well as uh, x intercept as well as y intercept is positive then our straight line has this inclination now x intercept is negative and y intercept is positive the straight line equal the straight line has this inclination so this is negative x axis this is negative x axis and this is anyway positive positive y axis so you can see that y is positive and x is negative now when both intercept x both intercepts are negative then this is how our straight line inclination would be so this is positive x axis and this is negative x axis and this is positive y axis and this is negative y axis you can see both the intercepts are on the negative side so the this straight line will have this kind of an inclination now the next one is x intercept positive and y intercept is negative so x intercept positive means it is in the first quadrant and y intercept is negative means it is on the negative y axis this is uh, this straight line these type of straight lines will have this kind of an inclination okay now let me explain with an example <coughs> consider the example 3x minus 2 by 3x plus 2 by minus 6 is equal to 0 the intercept form of this straight line is x by 2 plus y by 3 minus 1 is equal to 0 or this is equal to 1 now this is how the graph looks like this is how the graph of that straight line looks like x by 2 plus y by 3 is equal to 1 x intercept positive and y intercept positive okay now let me write this y as a function of x y is equal to f of x is equal to 3 minus 3 x by 2 it is okay now here is a question for you what is the sign of y is equal to f of x if x is less than 1 so x is less than 1 means what x is less than 1 now we have to tell us the sign of f of x now we have to whenever this kind of a question is asked you just see the graph is above the x-axis or below the x-axis now if you if you observe here so left to 1 the graph is above the x-axis so in this region f of x is positive now here is the next question what is the sign of y is equal to f of x if x is greater than 2 that means x is greater than 2 means this is the region which we are talking about now in this region you check whether the straight line is below the x-axis or above the x-axis and from the graph it is clearly shown that the graph the graph uh, the straight line is below the x-axis so the sine of y is equal to f of x is negative okay now for what values of x f of x is positive so x uh, y uh, y is equal to f of x is positive if if x is less than 2 and if x is greater than 2 the straight line will take all the negative values so here are the conclusions f of x is greater than 0 if x is less than 2 and if f of x will be less than 0 if x is greater than 2 hope you have understood this example the next elementary function that i am going to discuss is sin x function here is the graph of sin x and we know that the maximum and minimum value of the function sin x is 1 and minus 1 and here you can see that the sin x graph captures between the line the two horizontal lines y is equal to 1 here and y is equal to minus 1 here okay here are some questions based on the graph of sin x here is the first question what is the sign of sin x if x lies between pi by 4 to 3 pi by 4 so pi by 4 will be somewhere here it is less than 1 and 3 pi by 4 will be somewhere here so you can see that in this region for these values of x the sine curve is above x axis so the sin x is positive in this 
specified region. Here is the next question. What is the sign of sin x if x lies between 5 pi by 4 to 7 pi by 4? 5 pi by 4 will be somewhere here and 7 pi by 4 will be somewhere here. Now, in for these values of x, the sine curve is below x axis that means sin x will be negative in these specified values of x. Here is the next question for what values of x sin x is positive if x belongs to the closed interval 0 to 2 pi. So, from the graph it is clear that sin x is positive in the interval 0 to pi sin x is positive if x belongs to the open interval 0 to pi and the sin x will be negative if x belongs to the open interval pi to 2 pi. Now, the next question is for what values of x sin x will be 0 and uh, from this graph you can see that sin x will be 0 at x is equal to 0 at x is equal to pi and x is equal to 2 pi. So, in general sin x will be 0 at x is equal to n pi where n belongs to integers okay. and uh, one more property of sin x is here. The function is a symmetric about origin and also called an odd function. Odd function means f of minus x is equal to minus f of x. Usually we say that a function is a symmetric about origin if both the points x comma y and minus x comma minus y present on the graph. Okay. The next elementary function that I am going to discuss is cos x. Here is the graph of cos x curve and we know that the maxima and minimum value of cos x is again 1 as well as minus 1 and you can see that the graph is captured between the two horizontal lines namely y is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1. Here are some questions we will try to answer about cos x function. Here is the first question what is the value of what is the sign of cos x if x lies between pi by 6 to pi by 3 that means pi by 6 means 30. So, it will be somewhere here and pi by 3 means it will be somewhere here. So, in this region the you can see that the graph is the graph of cos x lies above x axis. So, I can say cos x is positive in this specific for these specified values of x. And here is our next question, what is the sign of cos x if x lies between 2 pi by 3 and 3 pi by 4, 2 pi by 3 will be 120 it is somewhere here and 3 pi by 4 will be somewhere here, somewhere here. So, in this region, in this region, so the graph lies below the x axis, so in this region cos x is negative and uh, one more way by which you can tell is these, these values belong to the second quadrant and we know that cos x is negative in the second quadrant. Here is the next question for what values of x cos x is positive if x belongs to the closed interval 0 to pi uh, here are the specified regions. So, 0 to pi by 2 and uh, 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi here is the answer cos x is positive if x belongs to the interval 0 to pi by 2 union 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi. Similarly, cos x is negative if x belongs to this interval pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2. So, from the graph it is clear that the next question is for what values of x cos x becomes 0. So, the and, and you can see uh, from this graph you can see that cos x is 0 at pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. So, in general cos x becomes 0 at 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 where n belongs to integer values that means at uh, odd multiples of pi by 2 cos x becomes 0. Here is the one more property of cos x the function f of x is symmetric about y axis it is also called even function because f of minus x is equal to f of x. Usually a graph is said to be symmetric about y axis if x comma y and minus x comma y both the points are present 
on the graph. The next elementary graph that I am going to discuss is a modulus function or absolute value function. By this time you might have noticed that in all the three graphs discussed so far, I am focusing majorly on three questions, four questions. The first question is for what values of x, f of x is positive, for what values of x, f of x is negative, for what values of x, f of x is equal to 0 and whether the given function is an even function or an odd function. Okay. Now let us discuss the graph of y is equal to mod x. Here is the definition of mod x graph, mod x function, f of x is equal to mod x if mod x is equal to minus x if x is less than 0 and is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0. That means if x is less than 0 the y value is minus x here and if x is greater than 0 y value is going to be plus x. Okay. Let me explain how to plot the graph of y is equal to mod x okay so by the definition if x is less than 0 if x is less than 0 the graph is y is equal to minus x so that means in this region the graph is defined by the straight line y is equal to minus 1 i will not extend this straight line he in this region because this is defined only in the only for the negative values on the x axis so this is the straight line y is equal to minus x. Now when x is greater than or equal to 0, this is defined by y is equal to x straight line. Now in this region, I have to plot y is equal to x straight line. I am not extending here because in this region it becomes negative. So it is defined only for the positive values of x. So this is the graph of y is equal to mod x. So this is, this is the graph of y is equal to mod x and this graph is plotted in the interval minus 3 to 3. Hope you have understood how to plot the graph of y is equal to mod x. Here are some questions on the modulus function. Here is the first question. What is the sign of f of x if x is greater than 1 from the graph? If x is greater than 1, that means x greater than 1 and you can observe that the graph lies above the x axis so f of x is taking a positive sign here here is the next question what is the sign of f of x if x is less than 0 x is less than minus 1 so x is less than 1 less than minus 1 means left to <coughs> x is equal to minus 1 so in this region, you can notice that the graph lies above x-axis, so f of x is positive even in this region also. Now the next question is, for what values of x, f of x will be 0? f of x is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to 0. So here is the answer for the third question. <coughs> <coughs> Whether the graph is uh, even function or odd function, so we have to prove that f of minus x is equal to f of x. So this is an exercise for you. Prove that, show that f of minus x is equal to f of x by using the definition. So this is the exercise for you. So use the definition to prove f of minus x is equal to f of x. The graph is, the function is symmetric about y axis or an even function. So, the graph is symmetric about y axis means when do we say that a graph is symmetric about y axis? If both x comma y and minus x comma y lies on the graph, lies on the graph. Okay. In the graph, you can notice that minus the points minus 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 1 lies on the graph and similarly, you can show that minus 2 comma 2 and 2 comma 2 also lies on this graph. So that's why the function is symmetric about y axis. 
so on the entire real line what is the sign of modulus function here is the answer f of x is greater than or equal to 0 throughout the entire real line for all x belongs to r f of x is greater than or equal to 0 or we can say f of x is a non-negative function on the entire reals hope you have understood the properties of modulus function the next function that i am going to discuss is the exponential function that is f of x is equal to e power x the approximate value of e is 2.71 h here is the graph of f of x is equal to e power x here are some questions based on the graph of f of x is equal to e power x the first question is what is the sign of f of x if x lies between 0 and 2 that means x lies between 0 to 2 you can see graphically the graph lies above x axis so f of x is positive if x lies between 0 to 2 the next question is what is the sign of f of x if x lies in the interval minus 2 to 0 so you can see in this region also the graph lies above x axis so even in this case also f of x is positive and the next question is for what values of x f of x is equal to 0 that is e power x is equal to 0 so the conclusion is f of x is not equal to 0 for all x belongs to r whatever the value of x you give me okay f of x can never be 0 because e power x cannot be 0 so we can conclude here that the function f of x is positive throughout the real throughout the real line that is f of x is greater than 0 for all x belongs to reals the next question is whether the function f of x is symmetric or not so, uh, even function or not so let us calculate f of minus x f of minus x is what e to the power minus x which is not equal to f of x or which is not equal to minus f of x so f of minus x is not equal to f of x or minus f of x so it is neither even nor odd function that is the conclusion the function is neither even nor odd so these are the points few points that i would like to discuss on exponential function next elementary function that i am going to discuss is the quadratic polynomial in other words parabola y is equal to x square if we plot the relation y is equal to x square this is how the graph looks like okay it's a, a kind of a u shaped curve here are some questions based on the graph of y is equal to x square the first question is what is the sign of f of x if x lies in the interval 1 to 2 so in this interval 1 to 2 the graph of f of x lies above x axis so f of x is positive the second question what is the sign of f of x if x lies in the interval minus 2 to minus 1 so minus 2 to minus 1 also the graph of f of x is lies above x axis so f of x is positive even in this case also now the next question is whether f of x is equal to 0 f of x is equal to x square is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to 0 that means only for x is equal to 0 f of x is going to f of x will be 0 the next question is whether f of x is symmetric about y axis or in other words f of x is an even function or not so let us check f of minus x is equal to minus x whole square by the definition that is equal to x square that is equal to f of x so f of minus x is equal to f of x so the function is symmetric about y axis and also called an even function here is that point the function is symmetric about y axis and also called an even function and you can see that 
see I told you a function f is symmetric about y axis if both the points x comma y and minus x comma y lies on the curve. You can see that minus 2 comma 4 and 2 comma 4 present on this curve minus 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 1 present on this curve. Okay. So, in total what is the conclusion f of x is greater than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to real numbers. The next graph that I am going to discuss is parabola y square is equal to x. If we plot the relation between y and x, this is how the graph looks like. One observation from this graph is the graph is defined only on the positive x value. That is the graph is defined only for the positive values of x. So before explaining why it is defined only for the positive values of x, let me represent y in terms of x from the given relation. Our relation is y square is equal to x. So from this I represent y in terms of x. So y is equal to plus or minus root x. Now you can understand this is defined if and only if x is a non-negative. So that is why the graph is defined only on the positive x axis. So, we have two curves namely y is equal to root x which is represented in the blue colored curve. So, this is the graph of y is equal to root x and we have another expression namely y is equal to minus root x which is represented in the orange color curve that is y is equal to minus root x. Right. Now, when is y value positive in both these cases? The, in both these cases y is y is 0 if and only if y is 0 if and only if x is equal to 0 ok now if you consider the function y is equal to root x y is positive if x is positive and if you consider the function y is equal to minus root x y is a, y will always be negative even if x is positive so in this case y is negative in this case y is always positive for all x belongs to r plus and here for all x belongs to r plus okay now the next point to be mentioned about this graph is the graph is symmetric about x axis because both the points x comma y and x comma minus y are present on this graph present on the graph so whenever both the points x comma y comma and x comma minus y present on the graph then we can say that graph is symmetric about x axis hope you have understood whatever the points discussed on the parabola y square is equal to x the more details regarding this parabola will be discussed in the upcoming lectures in the present course. Next elementary function that I am going to discuss is a cubic polynomial y is equal to x cube. If we plot the relation y is equal to x cube in the coordinate plane, this is how the graph of y is equal to x cube looks like. And this graph is plotted in the interval minus 2 to 2 for your information. Here are some questions based on the graph of the function. Here is the first question. What is the sign of f of x if x lies in the interval 1 to 2? That means in this region they are asking. So, in this region f of x is above x axis. So, f of x will be is, is positive in this region. Here is the second question. What is the sign of f of x if x lies in the interval minus 2 to minus 1? So, minus 2 to minus 1 in this region, the function, the graph of f of x lies below x axis. So, f of x is negative if x lies between minus 2 to minus 1. And my next question is f of x is equal to 0. For what values of x? f of x is equal to 0. f of x is equal to 0 that is x cube is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to 0. 
So, f of x is equal to 0 only at x is equal to 0 and the next question is whether f is a symmetric about y axis or symmetric about origin or an even function or odd function. So, let me compute f of minus x f of minus x is equal to what minus x whole cube minus x whole cube is equal to what minus x cube. So, this is equal to what minus f of x. So, f of minus x is equal to minus f of x we have got. So, f of x is a odd function here is a point the function f is symmetric about origin and also called an odd function. We say that a function or a graph of a graph is a symmetric about origin if both the points x comma y x comma y and minus x comma minus y lies on the graph then we say that the graph is a symmetric about origin you can observe here that 1 comma 1 and minus 1 comma minus 1 are present on this graph and 2 comma 8 and minus 2 comma minus 8 present on the graph. So, it is a symmetric about origin and you know overall picture it means when is f of x positive when is when is f of x negative we are going to conclude now f of x is positive for all x belongs to r and f of x is negative for all x belongs to negative real numbers. That means, when x is a negative real number f of x takes the negative sign, when x is a positive real number f of x takes the positive sign. Hope you have understood the points discussed on cubic polynomial. The next graph that I am going to discuss is a logarithmic function log x y is equal to ln of x. If we plot the relation between y and x, this is how the graph of log x looks like. Okay. Here are some questions on the graph of log x. Here is the first question. What is the sign of f of x if x lies between 0 0.5 1? So, f lies between 0 0.1 sorry 0 0.5 this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 to 1 the graph lies the graph lies below the x axis. So, f of x will be negative if x lies between 0 0.5 and 1 here is the next question what is the sign of f of x if x lies between 1 to 3. So, between 1 to 3 in this region the graph lies above x axis. So, f of x is greater than 0 if x lies between 1 and 3. The next question is for what values of x f of x is equal to log x equal to 0 implies x is equal to 1. That means, at x is equal to 1 the function f of x is equal to log x becomes 0. Okay and whether the function f of x is an even function or an odd function. Now, f of x is e f of minus x is equal to log of minus x of course, this is not defined if x is negative. So, this is neither equal to f of x nor equal to minus f of x. So, the function y is equal to log x is a neither even uh, nor odd. Now, for what values of x f of x is negative for what values of x f of x is positive let us see f of x is greater than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to 1 to infinity that means, right side to 1 f of x is going to be positive and if x lies between 0 and 1 f of x is going to be less than 0. Okay. So, that means, uh, less than 1 left to 1 and uh, left to 1 and uh, that may, uh, between 0 and 1 f of x is going uh, log x is going to be negative as shown in the graph. Okay. Hope you have understood the properties of y is equal to log x.
the next elementary function that I am going to discuss is a reciprocal polynomial y is equal to 1 by x and it is also called hyperbola. We will discuss more details on this in the chapter hyperbola. If we plot the relation between y and x, this is how the graph of y is equal to 1 by x looks like. And uh, here are some questions based on the graph of this function. What is the sign of f of x if x lies between minus, one, minus zero, uh, my 0 to 1? It means 0 to 1 if you take 0 to 1. F of the graph of the the graph of f of x lies above x axis so f of x is positive in this region and the second question is what is the sign of f of x if x lies between minus 1 to 0 that means this is uh, minus 1 to 0 so if you if you take these values of x the graph of f of x lies below x axis, so f of x will be negative. And the next question is whether f of x is, is equal to 0, f of x is equal to 1 by x is equal to 0 which is not possible. So, we have some positive answer, what is that f of x approaches 0 as x approaches infinity. That means, when x grows bigger and bigger, f of x value becomes smaller and smaller at as x tends to infinity, f of x is going to be 0. Now, the next question is whether f of x is a symmetric about x axis or y axis or a function f of x is an even function or not. So, for this I need to check f of minus x is equal to f of minus x is equal to 1 by minus x. So, that is equal to minus 1 by x that is equal to minus f of x. So, f of minus x is equal to minus f of x. So, f of x is an odd function. So, f is odd function f is odd function. Okay. So, it is uh, symmetric about origin. You can see that whenever you have this point 2 comma 1 by 2, then uh, you have this point minus 2 comma minus 1 by 2 on the graph. Okay. So, from the graph we can conclude that f of x is positive if x, x belongs to 0 to infinity. When x is positive, f of x is positive and when x is negative, f of x is negative. So, from the graph also it is clear, when x is negative, the graph of f of x lies below the x axis. When x lies, x is positive, the graph of f of x lies above x axis. And here, I would like to explain some point here. At 1 comma 1, okay, the graph looks like here, looks like this as x value approaches 0, the y value increases enormously, the y value keep on increasing here. So, when x lies between 0 and 1, y value increases and when x approaches 0, y is approaching infinity. It means as x value approaches 0, okay, and y value is tending to infinity. Suppose, if we are approaching it from the positive direction, y approaches infinity. So, when you are approaching 0 from the left side, then what is happening? When you approach x from uh, 0 from the left side, y value decreases in the negative direction. So, y tends to minus infinity. So, this is some extra information on the reciprocal polynomial. Now, the next function that I am going to discuss is reciprocal polynomial y is equal to 1 by x square. If we plot the relation, this is how the graph of y is equal to 1 by x square looks like. Okay. 
here are some questions based on the graph what is the sign of f of x if x lies between 0 and 1 so when x lies between 0 and 1 f of the graph of f of x lies above x axis so f of x is positive here is the next question what is the sign of f of x if x lies between minus 1 to 0 so between minus 1 to 0 also the graph is positive okay now the next question is whether f of x is equal to 0 f of x can never be 0 f of x is not equal to 0 for all x belongs to real value okay, because 1 by 0 1 by x square must be 0 this cannot happen <coughs> And the next question is whether the function f of x is an even function or an odd function. So, for that we need to compute f of minus x. f of minus x is equal to 1 divided by minus x whole square that is equal to 1 by x square that is equal to f of x. So, f of minus x is equal to f of x. So, f of x is a even function. Okay. So, we I can write that point here f of x is an even function ok and uh, finally for what values of x f of x is positive for what values of x f of x is negative so f of x is positive for all x belongs to minus infinity to 0 union 0 to infinity because at 0 at 0 the function is undefined so unlike in the previous case when x approaches 0 either from the left side or from the right side f of x goes to that means the y value is tending to infinity so x approaches 0 either from left side or from the right side ok y is approaching towards positive infinity okay so these are few points that are that i thought of discussing about the function y is equal to 1 by x square hope you have understood these points